our third morning on Salda Lake. This place is absolutely gorgeous. We've seen uh, sunshine, thunderstorm, but all together the water is so nice and clean. It's cold, it's over 30 outside, so it's really beautiful to just go for a little swim. But yeah, we've been just having a real holiday for three days, relaxing, sunbathing, enjoying ourselves. But now it's time to move on. We were just driving to the next town and on the way we saw a van that's broken. He's a, it's a Turkish guy and uh, we're gonna try to give back a little bit and take him to the next gas station. So we're back from our gas station round. I think it took us like half an hour and now we're hoping that uh, we can get the van going. It is unreal. Before we saw Isa on the side of the road with a not working van, Mina actually told me the next guy who sells strawberries on the side of the road, you stop, I want strawberries. And now that we helped Isa out, he told me he's gonna give us strawberries. He was just taking strawberries to the market. It's unreal, it's just unreal. Uh, <laughs> These are the best strawberries I've ever had. Absolutely. <laughs> Can't say we were stopped by the police, but I sure slowed down when I saw that guy or that thing. <laughs> we are now in town of Ushak, and Mina decided to have uh, a little bit of outdoors office in here. So Isa just called us and we are at the local park and um, we have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, who is Isa? <laughs> who is Isa? And now this local guy is translating what Isa told, uh, told us over the phone. Come on. This is really happening. <laughs> <laughs> Isa ordered us food and the delivery guy didn't find us in the place anymore. <laughs> There's a killer that him. <laughs> so now I understand he called because he wanted to know where we yes. were. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. So, so crazy. We just wanted to help Isa out. We saw him on the side of the road and we thought if we're gonna be on the side of the road, we would like somebody to stop. We stopped, we took him there, but it seems that whenever you try to help a Turkish pers person, <laughs> you will receive those gifts or, or words of gratitude for I don't know how many years. Not only doubled but they're like yeah. tripled and tripled then and probably tripled again. That's what Turks do. Absolutely wonderful people. So generous, so kind. <sighs> we haven't had it like this before. It's, it's really... A, I love Turkish food. It's like sand. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around someone. Don't you wanna have fun? Don't you wanna have some fun? Yeah, it's 
said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. I'm not in shape anymore. These little guys are. <laughs> so we are now getting to the part of part of Turkey that's changed quite a bit over the last years. Before there was uh, roses around here, some fruit trees here and there, but uh, over the last years. Uh, some villages in here have started uh, growing lavender and it's become a whole niche for them so now pretty much 90% of uh, Turkey's lavender comes from this area in here the sad thing is that we're about a month too early in the beginning of July all of those big bushes they will turn purple and that just looks amazing then already smell them actually I'm gonna try something I'll see if my uh, video editing skills can handle it but in a month ta month's time this place is gonna look something like this As though we made it here into this region too early for lavenders, then it's just the right time for roses. We've already seen people picking them. And they're picking them for rose water, for rose oil, and the whole area focuses on growing roses for this purpose. Don't you wanna have fun? Those hillsides, they all turn purple. All around me, violet and purple instead of the green. It's the first time in Turkey when I think that, man, we're too early. We're really too early. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're gonna move on. Today we were supposed to meet uh, Isa's family, but sadly he has to work and tomorrow we have to work, so that's not gonna happen. Mina already made a pie and now we are just gonna drive by Usak where, where he lives and drop off the pie, say goodbye. 